Okay, hello everyone. Um, Lara Ryan with you here again. And we're going to look at another task two question. Um, one we haven't looked at before. I'm going to get you to show me your writing and I'll give you some feedback. And basically, with that feedback, you'll know what you need to do to improve your IELTS scores further. Um, so in, in case you're new to complete test success, just let me explain that I have already made lessons to explain how to write a task two essay. And I'm going to share those with you right now. Hi, Nani. You should complete all of those lessons. It will only take you three hours to get through them all. And once you've completed those lessons, you'll have a better understanding of what you need to do in this lesson. Um, I also have a sample answer for the question that we will be looking at, and I'll share that with you at the end of the lesson. Hi, Fiza. Good to see you here. Um, if you're watching the recording, get involved. You can still um, put your ideas in the comments, and I will be able to um, help you with that. So even if you're not joining me live, do get involved, and I'll be able to help you. Hi, Sandy. Good to see you again. Hi, Mira. Good to see you back here. OK, brilliant. Glad to hear it. OK. Today's lesson, I want to try something a little bit different. Might not be that different for you, but it's a bit different for me in that previously I focused on everybody do one thing, then everybody do the next thing, then everybody do the next thing. But what I want to try today is this. This could be a disaster, by the way. If, the, if this goes terribly wrong, I won't try this again, but I thought it'd be worth a try. So basically, this is what I want to do. I'm going to show you the question, and you're just going to send me your main ideas. I will review your main ideas, say if they're appropriate or not. If they're not appropriate, you need to generate new ideas. If they are appropriate, you move ahead, write one body paragraph, and send that to me. So unlike previous lessons where we're all at the same part of the essay, Today, I'm going to try and do it where wherever you are, you just stay pushing forward with your writing. And if other students are behind you, they can continue to work on that part. So in theory, this will work, but I've, it, it could potentially be that I, I get last. So I don't think you will get last, but that's the plan. Hi, CJ. Um, yeah, or you can still, if you if you can't watch now, just watch the recording. Hi, Candice. Good to see you again, too. OK, so that's it. I'm going to show you a question. You write main ideas and send them to me. Once I confirm your ideas are OK, you go ahead, write the body paragraph. So you don't need to worry about what any of the other students are doing. And that is the question. Just to confirm, I've already written the introduction. So that would be the introduction. You do not need to write this. You just need to send me the main ideas. And then once I see the main ideas, I'll give you your feedback and you can proceed or generate new ideas if necessary. Uh, is it actually, can you just confirm? Is that confusing? Can Do you understand what I'm asking you to do? Is this OK? If it's confusing, I can go back to the old way. But just can you confirm if you understand what I'm uh, what I'm referring to? Candice, it looks a bit blur. I don't believe it's my internet because I get a warning when my internet's. Um... Noni says it's clear. Oh, that my instructions aren't clear. OK, thanks, Noni. Um, Candice, I would say possibly try refreshing, refreshing your browser to see if that clears it, because I have a feeling the internet problem is on your end. OK, great. Now, Sushma, effective video games on physical fitness. So that does not answer the question. The question is, why is this the case? Not what are the results of this? So you're focusing on the outcome, not the cause. 
so if the problem if the question said what problems does this create your main idea would be relevant but that's not the question it's why is this the case so where you are let's say the situation described in the question is in the middle you've gone to this side but you need to go back to what's what what has created the situation not what situations are created because of this so you need to go kind of further back in time Okay, Candice, Fiza, thanks for the feedback. Okay, Sanya. Nowadays, children are busy, so you need the verb. Than playing sports. Okay, so that would be a paraphrase. Nowadays, children are... It's not that they're busy, it's about which one are they spending more time doing. So that, that paraphrase, even though I'm not looking for a paraphrase at the moment, I'm looking for your main ideas. And you can see that I've already put a paraphrase on the screen here. So this here is the paraphrase already. But with the paraphrase that you just shared with me, that does not have the same meaning as the question. Um, okay. Sushma, no friends. They're playing more video games instead of playing sport because they don't have friends. That is relevant. Yeah. So they're not playing sports because they don't have friends. And then, so you can proceed to the body paragraph, but what you need to consider is the fact that we're talking about in recent times. So that indicates that the situation that we're talking about now was not the situation in the past. So in your body paragraph, what you do need to explain to me is why do children nowadays have no friends, whereas children in the past did have friends? So that's that's the road that you've started on. And that's what that's what I need from your body paragraph. Hi Ashan, good to see you here. Cause. You've spelled cause and oh why is this the case? So Kate okay. It would be the cause or the reason. Um, anyway, because they have smartphones. Okay, that's relevant and that's suitable. Negative, it's a negative development because they're physically not strong. Perfect. Yep, so you have two main ideas, they're relevant and you can go ahead, but just write one body paragraph for me. Don't write two body paragraphs at the moment. Oh, I'm after losing my place, Sushma. Missing time with family, so trying to engage themselves in phones. So I don't see how that's connected to not playing sport. Your other idea made sense, but this one, like what if they're missing missing time with family? I don't see how I could not how it's in contrast to playing sport. So if I said Missing time with family, so they are trying to engage themselves in sport. That would equally make sense. So if you can say something that sounds accurate for sport and sounds accurate for um, video games, you're not distinguishing, you're not separating the two things. And that means you're not explaining what you've been asked to explain. Fear of the pandemic, yes, that would work. Yeah, that works, Visa. Good. Yeah, so that's the first main idea. So you can go ahead and write a paragraph um, about that. Hi, Jervin. You made it on time today. Good to see you here. Fear of recent pandemic. Yep, so we saw that already. Myra, playing video games nowadays becomes a fad for the children. So a fad is just like a, a short-lived fashion, something that will not continue uh, for a long time. So that word doesn't really fit the context. So what I'm imagining here is that you have recently learned this word, or maybe you've, it might necessarily be that it's recent, but what it, what I do, what I do see is that you're trying to learn, use words that you haven't learned fully. 
So be careful with that. I know improving your vocabulary is very important, but you need to make sure you understand it perfectly before you start using it. Um, children due to the feeling, it's becoming a fad for the children due to the feeling of belongingness to many other children. I'm not sure what that means. And it's probably the same. It's a, it's a vocab mistake again. The feeling of belongingness. I don't know what you're trying to say there. It has a negative effect because social development of children can be affected. Good. That second main idea is appropriate. The first one, it's not that it's inappropriate. It's that I'm not clear as to what you mean. And it's definitely because of vocabulary mistakes. Sanya, it has a bad impact on their physical and mental development. So I'm assuming that this is you're saying, I think it's negative. So it looks like a response to the second question. So I think it's negative because it has a bad impact on their physical and mental development. You only need one main idea in response to that part. Do you think it's a positive or negative development? So by saying physical and mental development, is that I would say that's two ideas, not one idea. So reduce that, but you do need to recognize when you have too many ideas because you're 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 not going to develop your paragraphs as well as you could. So it has a bad impact on their physical development or it has a bad impact on their mental development. Either would be fine. Um, if you're saying that you think it's a negative development, but just be clear on how many ideas you need and how many ideas you think you're presenting. And generally, if the word and is in the middle of your main idea, it's probably two main ideas. And if it isn't two main ideas, you're repeating yourself. There shouldn't be any reason to have the word and in the middle of a main. Okay, Noni. Because online game producers made it easy to be addicted. Perfect. Yep. So it's specific and it's relevant. Um, it is a negative because it will affect their health. Perfect. So that second idea as well is just, it's, it's simple. It's a direct response. It's, you know, you're, you're not trying to make it complicated. You're not trying to think of unique or less common ideas. That's perfect. It's just, that's probably the first idea that comes to everyone's mind. And just going with that is exactly what you should do. It's relevant. It's specific. That's good enough. Okay, so you can work ahead with the uh, body paragraph. Sandy, the use of gadgets is more accessible than ever before. Mm. Yes, but my concern with this is that are you going to write your body paragraph about is your body paragraph going to be in relation to how that draws them to video games instead of sport? So that would be my one concern is in your body paragraph that you would just talk about how gadgets are so accessible and it's easy to play games, but it's not just about ease of access to games. It's about the choice to spend more time playing games are the reality of spending more time playing games than playing sports. It doesn't have to necessarily be a choice. Hi Saif, good to see you. It is often concerned, concerned isn't used that way. So people are often concerned, um, but it and concern don't go together. That a lot of offspring, you're trying to find a synonym for children. Um, there really aren't that many good synonyms for children, especially in the IELTS test in the IELTS writing test. In the speaking test, you could say kids, kids is fine, but in writing, um, it's too informal. Offspring, it's more related to, you know, somebody's, the, the, the children that they have, and it's more like a kind of biological, it's not a biological term, but it, it more, it doesn't represent children in the same way as the word children. It's more to do with, the act of having a child. 
Um, so we don't see we don't see that word used very often in relation to people. And I mean, you probably see it more in like animal documentaries than you would in you know a discussion about people's children. Um, so even though it has the meaning, it it's the context that isn't suitable. Um, so anyway, a lot of children spend more time playing computer games rather than playing sports. Okay. So if you just share your main ideas then when you're ready, because the pandemic, yes. And that's one I hadn't even considered beforehand. Um, yeah, that's definitely, that's definitely a very good reason. It's because nobody can leave their house. How can they play sports when they're stuck at home? Yeah, makes sense. Hi, right, Jarline. Reason. Children are more entertained or video games are more addicting. Both are appropriate. Both are appropriate ideas, but you only need one. So that would be, you have two main ideas for why is this the case, the first part, but no idea for the second part. So you only need one of those. Either of those is suitable, but you don't want uh, two ideas for this question type. Vimal, nowadays the youngsters prefer devoting increased time relaxing on video games in lieu of sports. Uh, your vocabulary is too... You're trying to use too high, too wide a range of vocabulary and your accuracy is suffering. So I do know what you mean, but mainly because I've read the question. If I hadn't seen the question first and I saw this, I would I would be a bit confused. So for you, accuracy of vocabulary, when you're improving vocab, don't just go straight for new words, new words, new words, which is very tempting, but reviewing old words, doing lots of reading, looking at how words are used, um, looking at collocations. Um, and with if you're ever le learning any new words, you need to spend more time analyzing new words, seeing exactly how they're used. It takes time, it takes effort, but it will result in more accuracy, which is what, what you definitely need. Ashan, in present times, many children spend their time playing video games. Many children spend more of their time playing video games than playing sport because they have smartphones. In the modern in the modern world smartphones are cheaper so they so they isn't clear here um is they the smartphones or the children so you need to say what the noun is instead of using a pronoun there so they tend to buy those so children tend to buy them and they spend their time on it so you said phones as plural, but you're saying it. So you're making quite a few pronoun mistakes, Ashan. That's something you can work on uh, by playing games as it is new to them. Okay. This is a little, there. it lacked coherence. So it's, they're playing them because they have smartphones. Then you explain why they have smartphones. And then you kind of come back to the fact that it's, they're playing them because they're new. There's, there are too many things. I don't need to, ex you don't need to explain why they have smartphones. You need to explain why they're spending more time playing video games than playing sport. So when you're developing your idea, when you're developing your body paragraph, you need to be more focused on, is this related? asking yourself if it's related to the question that's been asked. Um, so you don't, you're not, the question isn't saying why do, you're not explaining why kids have smartphones. You're explaining how that results in them playing games instead of playing sport. So I think the fact that it's a new to them, I think that that's something you could go with, but you do need to rewrite this. Definitely take out the explanation of why they have smartphones and why they tend to buy smartphones. You could probably work with the fact that the games are new, um, but it needs to be more coherent and very much stay focused on, you have that idea that um, 
it's because they have smartphones. But then your explanation isn't why they have smartphones. Your explanation is why does why does the ownership, why does having a smartphone mean I'm going to spend more time playing video games than sport? That's what you need to explain to me. So you, your your development has to be in the context of the question. Sandy, it is a negative development because playing games, so no, no article, is detrimental to their mental health. Perfect. Just the article mistake, but the idea is perfect. Sushma, in olden days, we don't say that. That's not really a phrase. Uh, definitely not in this context. Children used to play with friends as they got enough time and their school timings also not for long hours. So definitely you need to work on vocab, Sushma. Whereas nowadays, students are exhausted after returning from school. Consequently, they don't have enough time to play with friends. So there's too much going on here. Are they tired? Is it they don't have enough time or they don't have enough energy? Go with one of those. And that would really need to be the main idea in the first place. And they got enough time. So the problem is that they don't have enough time. And then you need to explain, well, if they don't, it can't be about time. It, time can't be, time cannot be the issue because they're spending, they're, it's, it's what they're doing with their free time. So if they have free time, they're using more of that free time to play video games than to play sport. So it's not about do they have enough time to play sport? They, well, they do because they're using their free time to do a different thing. So like, let's say there were no video games, they would still have the same amount of free time. So it's not about how much free time they have. It's about why are they using the free time to do one thing instead of doing the other thing. Um, so your, your idea isn't, it doesn't, it doesn't fit the context of the question. Visa. These days, children prefer to play video games. This is because recent pandemic situation made everyone more scared. Even parents don't allow their kids to go outside and have physical activities. Um, yep. Good. So I'm not. What I what I wanted you to do is develop the body paragraph. The body paragraph. So we, the introduction is the first paragraph, which is what you see on the screen here. This is the introduction. And after that, we'll have the body paragraph where you'll develop one main idea. And that's the paragraph I wanted to see from you was a development of that main idea you have. Um, And then in the body paragraph, you don't want to. I'm not sure. Maybe this is a body paragraph. If it's a body paragraph, you don't need to repeat the main idea. You don't need to repeat the, the question. You just need to repeat the main idea. Saif, it provides more entertainment than other tough sports. So it's more entertaining. Perfect. Yep. That makes sense. They're playing more video games because video games are more entertaining than sport. Uh, you don't have to say tough sports because it, we're talking about all sports, not specific types of sport. Gina, generations, the young generation today, you'd have to say the young generation, the young generation today are more exposed to video games it's not that they're more exposed to them. And it's not that their outdoor games aren't just sport. Some sports are indoors, some sports are outdoors, some games are indoors. Like a sport is a type of game, but it doesn't cover, they're not synonymous. So the younger generation today are more 
it's not it's not about exposure it's about the amount of time they're spending so that that word doesn't isn't accurate okay thanks you know Caroline, this is a negative development because it causes poor socialization skills. Yeah, good. Main idea is suitable. Vimal, firstly, video games are more entertaining and than engaging in any physical activity. Good. Yeah, that works. Because there are more options in online games than in playing sport. Good. So it's the the number of options that they have. Good. That makes sense. That's appropriate. It's a negative development because adolescents are not physically fit and mentally as well. Okay. So both of those are suitable, but again, too many. And like I said earlier, Fiza, if you have the word and in the middle of your main idea, well, that indicates that it's two main ideas. So just be careful. Be careful not to include too many main ideas, but they're both suitable. So you've done well there. Hi, Narges. Good to see you here. Get involved. Um, start sending me your ideas and let me give you some feedback on your on your work. Gina again. They are more prone to online games. Prone doesn't work like it's not used that way. So that that's a vocabulary mistake because of their curiosity with modern technology. So they're they're more interested in modern technology. Perfect. That's a good that's a good and appropriate main idea. Good. Hi, doctor. Nowadays, lots of children spend more of their time on video games than engaging in sports. Good. This is so. This is because of the present increase in accessibility to smartphones among children. Good. In my opinion, this is a negative development due to the fact that less time allocation to exercise poses young ones to early health challenges. Good. What I would say um, is... You could keep your main ideas a bit shorter. So it's not wrong, but you don't need to go into as much explanation of your main ideas. So if we just look at the first one, um, but actually, no, your first one isn't too long. The second one, it's a negative development because it poses it exposes young ones to early health challenges. So you could have kept that a bit shorter. And in general, I'd recommend that in the introduction. Don't go, don't try to explain your ideas yet. Um, and that comes then in the next paragraph. Osman, in these days, we just say these days, it, the phrase is these days. So it's in recent times or these days, but with the in doesn't doesn't follow across doesn't carry across the majority so you need the article the majority of children utilize their leisure time in computer games utilize their leisure time to play computer games rather than than outdoor games outdoor games aren't necessarily sport so i could be playing an outdoor game but i might not be playing a sport they're not they're they're not direct synonyms. They're, they're, they don't have the exact same meaning. DX Ropak. In the present situations, a multitude of children are more busy. It's not about their, it's not saying that they're busy. It's just about how much time they're using. So I, I would say normally wouldn't say someone's busy if they're playing video games fact which it'd probably be the opposite if they were busy they wouldn't have time for video games so no that that doesn't work there 
uh, using their internet portal. It doesn't just say on the internet; it says playing video games. So you can you you cannot change the the context of the question. While outdoor activities, so again, sports and outdoor activities aren't the same. You know, it could be like hiking or climbing, trekking. We wouldn't call those sports. Um, is decreasing day by day because of lack of open field. So you're kind of getting the, the last bit, a lack of open field. So a lack of sporting facilities, a lack of sporting grounds, that would be suitable for the first main idea. Um, so they're not doing it. They're, they're playing more video games because they don't have access to, you know, sports equipment or sport sports pitches or whatever it would be. But yeah, that would make sense. That, that main idea is suitable. Melinda, to begin with, many children consume, consume is to eat. So that doesn't work. More time playing video games due to this amidst pandemic, because of the pandemic. Yep, that makes sense. Female, the current pandemic has restricted outside movements and is highly risky for these children. This essay supports the youngster's preference of video games than any physical activities. So you have too, too, many, too many ideas going on here. So you don't need to say that the pandemic is risky for children. You just need to say that it has restricted their ability to go outside. That's enough. So you don't need to tell me anything about the pandemic except that it it's resulting in children staying at home playing video games. So that's fine, but don't add that extra bit. Then this essay supports the youngster's preference of video games than any physical activities, but now you need a main idea for that. So basically you've just said, I think it's positive, but following from that, we need to know why do you think it's positive? So you need another main idea. Uh, so for that second question, do you think it's a positive or negative development? You've told me what you think, but you need to support that with a main idea in the introduction. So you're missing that. Okay, Shan. In present times, many children spend their time playing games. Many children spend more of their time playing games than playing sport because they have smartphones. So they can easily join the video games. Okay, good. So it's just the language. So I'll just read out what it should say. So they can more easily play video games than play sport. For example, many younger students play video games even though they're in school premises with their friends. That example of anything, no, that's that's actually good. Just you need to go a little bit further with that and say, for example, in schools nowadays, even though children have access to sport, sporting equipment, they still play video games. And then that needs to follow on with your main idea because it's easier. They still play video games because this is easier. Good. So just really language for you, Ashan. Hi, Ahmad. How are you doing? Can you see the instructions there? Do you know do you know um what what you're doing in the lesson? So just send me main ideas first. Once I check your main ideas and you know they're appropriate, you can write a body paragraph and I'll check that for you after that. Okay, Noni is got a good length of a paragraph here. The main reason why children are more into online games than participating in physical activities is due to the video game the video game 
makers, making them addictive. To illustrate, many online game companies, game companies, not games, game companies try to develop their games to attract many young players to increase their income. This is by introducing levels in the games in which make it easy. Levels in the games which make it easy for children to become addicted as they want to reach the top level and win. In my country, for example, the vast majority of young individuals choose to sit sit in front So that all looks good. Um, mistakes with plurals and mistakes, some vocab mistakes. But the way I read it out, I've corrected all of those. So you can go back through them. Sandy, a great number. So Noni as well, you can go ahead with um, the next paragraph. So you can just continue forward and I'll stay giving you feedback. A great number of children these days use more time staying at home by playing video games because of the pandemic. The deadly health crisis caused many children not to go outside and play sport with their peers. Instead, they remain at home playing computer games to enjoy their time with other friends. I'm not sure why you're talking about friends at their house. Without? Did you mean to write without their friends? I'm not sure. It would make more sense if it said without their friends. In Korea, for example, an increasing number of children play computer games at home rather than playing sport outside in the playground, but confirm why why is that happening? So they're doing that because they have no choice as there are restrictions from the government because of coronavirus or whatever way you want to say that. But it's not it's not just your example isn't just that it's happening. It's to support the reason you gave for it happening. So your reason was because of the pandemic. So your example should be about that being the reason in, in Korea, in South Korea. Very welcome, doctor. Sushma, I personally feel that smartphones entertaining a lot rather than physical activities. So there's language, there are language mistakes here. So I think what you want to say is, I personally feel that smartphones are more entertaining than doing physical activity. Online games create more excitement and curiosity to continue playing with online friends. As there are instant rewards given to the players this makes it proactive the proactive doesn't make sense so for you it's mainly vocabulary mistakes that's that's actually quite good development but you're definitely going to need to improve your vocabulary if you're looking for a high score um but in relation to you know staying on topic developing your idea um that that's all looking good Hi, Ranjana. Good to see you here. Um, make sure to get involved. Share your ideas for the question. Let me give you feedback. Let me tell you if you're doing it right, if you're doing it wrong, what you're doing wrong. Um, you know, the whole purpose is for me to help you improve. So get involved. And good to have you here. And then I just saw your message next. So that was unnecessary. Um, not engaging in physical activity means they are getting obese which is consequently detrimental for their physical health. Um, so that doesn't really fit. Uh, just one sec. You need, to, you need to put that in the context of the question. So it looks like you're writing body paragraph two. So do you think it's a positive or negative development? I think, I believe that this situation is negative because the children are not engaging in physical. So with that at the beginning, 
it fits the context of the question. But what you're writing here, it's it's a bit isolated. It's sitting on its it's sitting by itself with no real connection to what the question is about. Um, so sorry, I forgot to put my phone on silent. Uh, so you do need to make sure it's obviously connected to the question. Ranjana, in this day and age, in this day and age, a considerable number of children tend to spend their time playing video games. So with over, over is used with choose. So in this day and age, a considerable a considerable number of children choose to spend their time playing video games over sports. So choose and over the, the you make need to make sure that you use those together. Larges playing video games generally is something that seems to be the most popular way of experiencing competition and excitement therefore children should not be banned from this way of entertainment nobody is talking about banning nobody's talking about banning video games this isn't the that that's not what the question is about um so unless you're responding directly to the question you're not going to get a good task achievement score in fact it could it probably would hurt all your scores because if you're not writing about the question, the examiner might think that you just you're just writing down something you learned um, before you saw the question. So you need to be careful with that. Um, the other thing then is um, I'm not. I don't even know what paragraph. I don't know. Is this supposed to be your introduction or a body paragraph or what it is? So for you, Narges, I at the start of this lesson, I come. I I pasted links into a comment, and those are three hours of task two lessons that will show you what you need to do. Um. So I would say you definitely need to complete those lessons. It seems like. You're just not familiar with the format of the IELTS test. Okay, so I'm going to continue giving feedback, um, but I just want to ask all of you here, is this lesson too disorganized? So the fact that everybody seems to be just doing their own thing, there's a question on the, on the board, everyone's just, you know, there's there's very little organization to this lesson. So is it difficult for you to follow this lesson? And do you prefer the normal format where we all stay on the same part of the lesson together? So normally we do the paraphrase together, we do the main ideas together, we write the paragraph together. So we all kind of stay more in line. Um, can you just leave a comment? Let me know, is it better to do it the way we normally do it? If this is your first lesson, then you know, you might not have any feedback, but is the normal way we've been doing it better than this way where everybody, oh, I guess it's a free for all in a sense where, you know, I'm giving everyone feedback, but everybody's doing different things. So you're not really learning from each other as much. That's what I would be concerned about. But what's better is you're not waiting for each other as much. So I don't know, but let me know. Let me know what you think. Risha, there are many detrimental effects or there are many detrimental detrimental effects on children's future further life in the for for a child's future such as they may prey of disease and become introvert um i would just keep it simple and go with one of the main ideas so just say like I think it's a negative development because it may lead to, you know, the, the children having serious diseases or serious conditions, or you know, one one of those. So say diseases are introvert, but one of them, and your introduction or your kind of whatever that first part is, that's a bit confusing. Um, so just follow the format of what IELTS are looking for. There isn't really much scope for, you know, um, 
kind of it's not really creative writing you don't have much scope to to, to say what to write in a, in a style that you want you need to follow the the, the format that i are looking for now just you cannot write a long comment because you are on youtube youtube restricts your comments to 200 words or 200 characters or something like that i had that problem myself i had that problem as well my first lesson, I tried to paste the sample answer into the comments, but couldn't do that because of YouTube. So you'll see at the end of this lesson, when I'm sharing the sample answer with you, I will be sharing a link that brings you to the sample answer. So yeah, um, it's YouTube. Fisa, in addition to this, they are stuck in their places and keep playing games using the screens which makes them feel a sense of boredom, which just makes them feel bored. Just say it the normal way is better, which makes them feel bored and eventually affects their mental health. So try to start at the start. So st state, state the main idea first. So you want to say that it's affecting their mental health. So that's the main idea, right? So that should be in the first sentence. And then from there, you explain why it affects their mental health. So you need to put the main idea in the first sentence and explain it for the rest of the paragraph. You don't want to do the explanation first and then say what you're explaining at the end. So just be a bit more careful with the organization. Um, but it's actually the development is fine. Nadim, in this contemporary era, we don't that that's not a very natural phrase a lot of children use more to play video games instead of physical activities so it's not about physical activities it's about sport so you need physical activities isn't a synonym for sport it is due to the outbreak of coronavirus good and that's just a simple sentence i'd have joined that with the next one just put the word and and it is a negative development now you need to say, let me just look at the question here. So the question says, do you think? So I, I would just make that 100% clear that you are the person who thinks it. So I would say, and I think it is a negative development just to make sure you've definitely answered the question um, because it has a detrimental effect on the physical and mental health of children. Yeah. So they're suitable ideas, but just one. You don't want physical and mental. You just want one of those ideas. Narges, playing video games seems to be one of the most popular way of excitement and competition. And from experiencing... Okay, so we saw that already. Ranjana, why does he read YouTube? Why doesn't he read YouTube, YouTube comments? Uh, <laughs> I I don't know how to answer that. I, I am. I am. I am reading YouTube comments. Um, they're coming in from YouTube and Facebook, so I just get them in order. I'm going down through them as I see them. Um, yep. Female. The biggest reason why video games has become more popular is due to the pandemic. I personally feel this is the right choice by the youngsters. So you're commenting on the choice of the youngsters. It's asking you to comment on whether you think it's a positive or negative development. So if you're saying you think they're making the right choice, eh, I mean, I can assume that means that you think it's a positive development, but you need to say that. Don't make me assume. Don't make me join the dots. You just say what, what it is that that the question has asked you to say. Narges, however, parents should encourage them to play sports based on their talent and willingness. This again, isn't connected to the question. So you're, we don't need you to recommend what parents should do. We need you to say why children are playing video games more. And we need you to say why you think it's positive or why you think it's negative but this wouldn't fit into any of those. 
So you definitely need to pay more attention to the question to um, improve your score. In, um, in today's world, a lot of children spend more of their time engaging in video games than they do when it comes to physical sports, right? This is a result of the addicting, the addictive nature of video games. In, that's a suitable idea. In my point of view, it is a negative development as children do not have the zeal to engage in various exercises such as which is detrimental to their health status. I think you're focusing too much on using vocab that's going to improve your vocab score. Whereas you could have had that main, that second idea could have been a lot shorter. So you could have just said, um, in my point of view, it is a negative, a negative development as it is detrimental to their health. I'd have just left it at that. So your focus has to be more on clear communication rather than um, trying to boost your vocab score. You'll get a better score by, by just communicating clearly. Jenny, in recent years, a lot of children spend more of their time playing video games than the majority of just than playing sports. This is because it makes them feel like escaping the present. It makes them feel like escaping. I'm not sure what that means. So that doesn't mean it's irrelevant, but there's there are definitely vocab issues here. And I disagree. So you're not disagreeing. You're saying if you think it's positive or negative. So if you say you disagree, it sounds like you're disagreeing with the reason you gave for why it's the case. So, you know, if somebody else said, I think it's because, you know, the main idea you just gave, and then someone else disagrees with the main idea you gave, it sounds like you're disagreeing with yourself. So just be careful to clearly state, I think it's a negative development. Um, because it will make them forget the reality and be addicted to it. So those are two main ideas. So just choose one. It'll make them forget reality or it will make them addicted. Um, but not, not both. Either or. Both are suitable, but you only need one. Sorry, the fact that they're doing one more than the other isn't isn't clear from this response. Um, Sandy, a great number of children these days use more time staying at home by playing video games because of the pandemic. The deadly... So it's just the example you've changed, is it? In Korea, for example, an increase... An increasing number of children play computer games at home rather than playing sports outside in the playground in order to avoid the situation that they might get coronavirus. Perfect. Yeah, that's exactly what you needed. Good. Noni, I believe when children spend more time on virtual games than playing physical sports, it will have a negative impact on their health. Staying indoor and playing for hours in front of a screen is going to increase the risk of diseases such as obesity due to lack of exercise. A study was conducted in the USA. A study which was conducted in the USA showed that the rate of obesity in children is high among those who play online games and do not work out. Good. Yep. Good development there, Noni. Stella, nowadays, children believe that video games are the only games and activities they can participate in. 
yet there are lots of physical activities they can get involved in which can contribute towards their well-being no this is not what the question is asked um that's not it's not completely clear um what the connection between what you've written it's not clear what how this is connected to the question um so no that doesn't work Tashin, first lesson, first lesson, first lesson. I'm starting to feel that way myself. I'm a bit scattered. I'm, I feel, I feel like I'm uh, just on a treadmill running. I don't, I don't feel like I'm doing much teaching, to be very honest. Um, it sounded, I thought it was good in theory, doing the lesson this way, but I don't think we'll be doing this again. It's, uh, it's very unfocused and normally when another student makes a mistake everyone can learn from that mistake but in this case it's just it's it's too scattered so it was worth a try but i don't think it's working uh, my opinion is that it is a negative development because children are not physically fit they are playing many video games they wouldn't have enough exercise for their body that makes disease like diabetes through that disease children will occur several diseases related to that and it would make physically not fit individuals um so this the first half is good up until up to uh diseases like diabetes but after that through that disease children would occur from there on it doesn't really make sense and it sounds like you're repeating what you've already said um so up until diabetes which it doesn't need to be in inverted commas nowadays due to the pandemic so you need a comma nowadays due to the, the pandemic comma playing video games is really important to children it is not bad if they know how to use their time wisely parents could impose a limitation how much time they spend yeah um so you, you, your main idea, the first sentence is fine, but you don't need to defend video games. We're not worried about, especially for the first paragraph, because the question is just, why is this the case? So you just need to explain how the pandemic has created that situation. Um, you don't need to defend playing video games. You don't need to say that, you know, they're okay if parents limit the amount of time. None of that is really relevant. It is a, what you're saying is about video games, but it's not about why the pandemic has created a situation where kids are playing more video games. Hi, Anam. Uh, thank you. Good. So it's not a complete disaster. Fisa, to illustrate authority of my country, have the authorities in my country have imposed a fixed punishment for those who play outside in the playground. So you need to say, is that because of the pandemic, you know, kind of fit that in there. Previous method was better. I think I'm agreeing with you, Sandy. You like it this way because you can focus on your own ideas. That's exactly that's why I wanted to try this. I thought it would be better for for each person. It's a good way. I think it's more useful. Okay, good. I find it difficult to follow because I'm late today. Focus on one part for time. Okay, thanks, Ahmed. I think I, I think I'm I'm starting to feel that way as well. That makes sense as well. So, um, I might see if I can integrate it to some to some extent. Sushma, in connection with these online game, in connection with these online games are drastically. So you're you're having a problem with sentence structure here. You started a clause and then didn't finish it and then jumped into the middle of the next clause. And again, remember, we don't want to talk about physical and mental health. Those are that's two. two that is two ideas. We want to go with one one idea would be better at times they are losing control of themselves to reach the next level i'm not sure what that means not only that their academic performance is also dropping so that's another idea we need to stay focused on just one idea 
So it would have to be, I think it's a negative situation because it is drastically affecting physical health. And then just explain how or why it's affecting physical health. So don't, you don't want many different ideas. You just want just clear focus on one idea and develop that. DX Ropak, nowadays children are more addicted to spend their leisure time playing video games rather than outdoor activities. So it doesn't say that they're addicted. Now that might be why they're doing it, but in the paraphrase, you don't want to, um, you don't want to change the meaning. And the question did not say that they're addicted. It just said that they're spending more time. So you shouldn't change the meaning. Uh, willing to children want more relaxed or difficulty in day by day are decreasing outdoor sports facilities. Um, I'm not sure that willing to doesn't make sense. And I'm not sure what, what really follows that. And then somebody is decreasing the number of outdoor sports facilities. That would be a, a good reason why they're playing more video games, but it's, it's not clear who's doing it and the way it's written, it looks like the children are doing it. So definitely uh, vocab and grammar, you'll need to work on those. Um, but I think that second idea is relevant about not having as many uh, sports facilities. Okay, I have just noticed how many more comments there are. There are a lot, there are a lot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna look at them quickly and say if the ideas are relevant or not. So I'm not gonna look at vocab or grammar. I do want everyone to get feedback. Um, before that, however, because it's the end of the one hour, in case anybody has to go, let me just share the sample answer with you and the link to join my live feedback lessons. So those extra lessons that I have on Zoom, uh, if you wanna get involved and get more feedback, there there are lessons from tuesday to friday and those are absolutely free as well so you can just use that link to sign up um i'm going to stay giving feedback um but i want to focus more on the main ideas that's you need to write a topic sentence so the first sentence of that paragraph is not a topic sentence. So you definitely need to start with repeating the main idea you're discussing. Thanks, Lisa. Lovely to hear that. Well, I'm trying my best to help, that's for sure. Uh, good to hear it's appreciated. Thanks for that feedback, Lisa. Okay, so your main ideas are all relevant. You don't want mental and physical health because that's two ideas, just choose one of those. And the word reckon is too informal for a task two essay. It's an academic essay, so it needs to be formal language. Uh, you just tone it down with the vocabulary. Don't. You're, you're not going to get a better score by using words that nobody ever uses. You're going to get a better score by clearly communicating your ideas. And in general, it might be words that you think are unimpressive, but those will be the words that will clearly communicate your ideas and get you a higher score. Hi, Sunshine. Good to see you here. So you need to further develop why it will affect their mental health. So you've just said, doing this is bad for your health, doing that is good for your mental health. But it's not that, it's you need to explain why is it bad for their mental health. So it's just saying that main idea, that's band six. Band seven is explaining that to me. How does it happen? 
Why does it happen? If I sit at home and I play video games all day, that's bad for my mental health. Well, why? What? I don't understand why my mental health will suffer. You need to tell me how does that happen or why does that happen? So that would be really you haven't developed the main idea. Even though your main idea is relevant, it's not. Um, it's not. It hasn't been developed. And that will not bring you beyond the band six um, for task achievement. Okay, so um, Sunshine, if you look at Sandy's answer is exactly what what we just discussed. Uh, you can pause the video there if you want to look at it. But that is the main idea. Um, also, uh, I can't remember the name of the student, uh, Tash, Tashin, um, where you didn't have a topic sentence. That's what you want to see here. Um, so the first sentence just says what the paragraph is about. The next sentence is explaining how or why that happens. And then an example of that happening. So that's exactly what you're looking at there is exactly what you want in a body paragraph. Um, good job, Sandy. That's good. That's very well developed. And basically, with two paragraphs of that quality, you're looking at at least a band eight for task achievement. Um, so, you know, if uh, and a lot of students, in fact, most students are aiming for band seven overall, if you can have that much development. You know, you could. You're you're in a very good situation where, you know, you're 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 under time constraints. You might be a bit stressed. You might make a few extra vocab or grammar mistakes that you don't normally make. If you can have that much development, you're you're really giving yourself a very good cushion. Yep. Good job. Good job, Sandy. Again. Rishab, your vocab, you're just, you're really pushing yourself beyond your ability. Um, I know it's confusing. The IELTS test is confusing in relation to, you know, like what, what do they want from you? What are you supposed to do? They want more vocab. They want better vocab, but it's not that it's about accuracy as much as it is range. So having, you know, band seven range, but band six accuracy, that's a band six. You know, you're not, you're, you're not going to push your score up by taking chances like this. So you, you need to be more careful. Um, and just, just clear communication should be the, the main focus. Yep, this all that that's all well developed, but I would like the part of the example saying that it's a distraction from sport. I'd need that to be in the ex explanation, not in the example. Um, so that clear connection to sport in the explanation would have been would have been better. Also, that that phrase back then, we don't we don't use that. Erlen, you're very welcome. Stella, one of the major reasons why kids are more involved in video games is that because of the recent outbreak of COVID-19 and the lockdown, all playgrounds were closed and most families had to create games like the video game. We, the, create isn't right, but play games would be okay uh, to keep them active, not active because active is about getting up and moving around. So another vocab mistake there. So I believe it was a good way to keep them, keep them busy. Maybe that's what you mean. Uh, your comment, I believe it was a good way to keep them active. That does not belong in this paragraph either. So again, I'd recommend that you complete those lessons that I shared at the start. I shared a link to lessons about how to write task two essays um, just to see how they're structured and how they're written. 
and how they're pieced together. Okay. Because they're fascinated with games, perfect. Too many harmful things. I would just choose one of those. So you don't need to say many different, you don't need to list every possible harm, the harmful thing you can think of. Just choose one of those. That's all you need is one main idea. And also you need to clearly state that you think, so if we look at the question again, that you think it's positive or negative and you haven't said that. So even though you have a main idea to support your opinion, you haven't clearly said what your opinion is. And without that, you're essentially looking at a band five for task achievement. You need to directly answer all the questions. Hi, Bit. Children these days tend to spend plenty of time. Plenty of time doesn't mean a lot of time. Plenty of time means I have more than enough. You know, like I'm, I'm not in a rush. So I say to you, you know, I. There are a lot. There are a lot of comments I need to look at, but I have plenty of time. It's, you know, I have enough time to look at them. So plenty. It's not used the way you've used it here. The word early. You've used that incorrectly. It exerts a detrimental impact. You're really you're you're pushing yourself to use vocab that you're not able to use. If you re, I think you could rewrite. Looking at your language, I think you could get a higher score. It's I, I, I believe based on this, I believe that you have the ability to communicate more clearly than you have in this. It seems like you're really trying to drive up your vocab score by using words that you think sound good, but they possibly sound good because you don't know how to use them. You know, when you know how to use a word, it's not impressive. When you're learning a new word or you hear someone else use a word that you cannot use, that sounds impressive. But, you know, imagine a beginner, a beginner English student listening to your English. Everything you say is impressive. But to you, because you know how to use it, it, it it's not as impressive when, when you know yourself. So I would just say you really tone down the vocabs, focus more on clear communication and you will have a much better answer as a result. That doesn't mean you need to stop improving your vocab. I mean, by all means, continue to work on vocabulary. Just when you're writing, make sure that you're using words that definitely mean what you're trying to say. How to improve vocab? Yes, again, in the list, uh, in the video, the videos that I shared with you at the start of this lesson, there are there are actually three lessons on vocab in, in that playlist. So just click on that. Um, you'll see it all there. That, that's not a clear enough connection with this jar line. So how, why does that mean that more kids why are they spending more time on video games? So it's not that there's more technology available. It's, yeah, it, it could actually, what I just said, the way I said it would be okay because there's more technology available. But then you'd still have to say, why is it, why are they being driven towards that instead of towards sports? So no, it still wouldn't work. Um, so you need to more clearly connect those ideas. Hi, Sushma. What are the strategies to improve vocab? Yeah. So um, at the end of the lesson, if you if you wait till the end of the lesson, I can share I can share it with you as well. How to long time. Hello. I am sure I'd remember your face. Which job? I've had a few. Although I usually stay for I usually stay for years in every job I've had, but. At Coco, nowadays, young ones tend to concentrate more on playing virtual games as opposed to getting involved in playing sport. Okay, so you've answered the second question. Um, 
Akoko, you've answered this and your idea is relevant, but why is this the case? You have not answered that. So just make sure that you're addressing both parts of the question. Thanks. I hope so. Uh, where, which, which job do I know you from? I think it's a negative development because it makes physically not fit. It makes children not physically fit when they're playing more video games. They wouldn't have enough exercise for their body. And this causes diseases like diabetes. This is much better. Good. For example, in my country, many children have diabetes. The number of children who suffer from diabetes has become higher compared to the past decade as a result of lack of exercise and link it back. So you're just so close due to lack of exercise because of how much time they're spending playing video games. So just tie it back in. Make sure that the reason that they're not doing enough exercise is because of these video games. So this is much better, but just make sure to tie it all together. And uh, Big Wing, you're very welcome. Okay, so I had Sushma looking for a vocab strategy. Let me find that. Okay, so that's it. We're, I've I've finished with feedback on that question. Does anybody have questions about anything else? Um, such as Sushma asking about vocab strategy. So anything else that 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 I can help anyone with? Okay, Sushma, here's the vocab strategy I'll just share with you here. Here we go. I must say, I'm I'm way more exhausted from this lesson than normal, where you know we follow a, a very obvious line where I guess for me it's we're doing one part and it's very much focused on that and I, I don't have to process what I'm looking at for me the other way is better and I also believe that even though you're you're all able to work independently um, I think the problem with this the format today is that you don't you know somebody else's feedback is meaningless to you because you're doing something else. So I really think the normal lesson where everybody's writing the same body paragraph about the same main idea and that you're all learning from each other's mistakes, I do think that's more beneficial. Um, I think you get more out of the lesson when it's more focused instead of the kind of free for all we had today. I just had an idea, I wanted to try it. No harm done, but I, I think I'll go back to the normal way of doing the lessons. Thanks out to you. Where, what, where, which job do I know you from? I'm, I'm intrigued. Yep. So, uh, Stella, I'll just share. So I'll just share the same lessons with you that I shared at the start of this lesson. So what this is, it's a link to a playlist and that playlist has pretty much a full description from start to finish of how to write task two essays. So it explains the scores, how to get a high score in each band score, and then goes through the process of, you know, analyzing the question, generating the ideas, putting the essay together, planning it, writing it, uh, checking, checking for mistakes. So the whole thing is there, including how to improve, um, you know, any, any particular areas that you have weakness in. So if it's, vocab grammar, there's strategies for that, strategies for generating ideas, strategy for developing ideas. So it's all there. Hi, Dominic. Good to see you there. Stella, you're very welcome. Um, okay, so it seems like there aren't any more questions. Um, make sure to click like on the video for me and share complete test success with anyone doing the IELTS test. Any groups you're in, any friends, family members you have. Um, just make them aware of complete test success and, you know, let me help as many people as possible. Uh, good to see you all here today. Um, another live stream on Thursday. The start time is two hours later than this one.
And then, as I said before, I have those Zoom lessons as well. So join me for those. They're on task one, task two, and on speaking. So you get a more rounded um, feedback in those as well. Good. Glad to hear you're learning. Yeah, it, there, there's, it, there's a lot involved. To be honest, there's a lot involved. There, there. You need to know how to construct the essay, so it's not all just about your English. You know, it's much. I like to describe it because some people think it's 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 unfair. It's like, well, you know, if I have the English ability, why do I have to learn how to do the exam? But I say it's the exact same as any test. Like, let's say, for example, like if you're doing a driving test, you have to hold a steering wheel like this. You have to have two hands on the steering wheel. You have to hold it like that. And it doesn't matter if you could drive perfectly with one hand. In fact, I think most people in the world only use one hand when they're driving or mostly use one hand when they're driving. But if you do that in the driving test, even if you're a very good driver, you're failing. So you have to, you have to give them what they want. And the IELTS test is much like the driving test. They want two hands, so you give them two hands. And that's a lot of especially the exam skills. The language skills are different. If you don't have the vocab, you don't have the grammar, you need to improve those. But if you already have them and you're not getting the scores you need, it's because of these techniques. But yep, glad to hear you're learning stuff from it anyway. Punctuation, I, I, would, I would direct you towards my grammar improvement strategy. Um, Dominic, because it depends on what part of punctuation you're struggling with. Um, but just focus on one thing at a time. Do capital letters first, do commas, do full stops. You know, don't don't just read everything. And the thing as well is be aware, make yourself aware of what aspect of punctuation you have problems with. Because you don't want to, you don't want to get a like a book on punctuation and read it from start to finish. If you're able to use capital letters perfectly, you don't don't look at that. Just focus on what specifically are you having issues with. Um, but in general, I direct you towards like the Cambridge Dictionary has a grammar section. That's solid. That's really good. Um, British Council's grammar materials, they're always reliable. BBC has grammar stuff. That's very reliable. Um, I know I'm forgetting one. I'm probably forgetting a big one, but those ones for sure. And, you know, because, I mean, it is what it is. It's not like somebody has a, a secret about punctuation that they're not sharing. Everything is online. You know, I mean, British Council have explained everything. Um, Cambridge will have explained everything. So it's not that. It's not that you need to go and buy special books. You'll find you'll find it all online. Um, just make sure you're using reliable resources like like the ones that I've mentioned. No problem. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pull a link from my website and I'll share that with you. So a coke has to format and structure. So I'll just uh, mark it as task to format and structure. So you know the the link that I'm referring to. So I've just posted that. Um, that's what you're looking for there, Coco. Good. That's good, Dominic. Post the answer. I've already posted the answer, Vimal. I posted it 25 minutes ago because I was worried that uh, students needed to leave. Um, I'll just post it again here for you. But I did. I did post it already. But I'll post it for you again here now. Okay. So we've gone quite a bit over. Um, it's great to see you all here. Um, we'll definitely go back to the old form format because I think you'll learn more from it. Um, so 
enjoy tomorrow. I'll see you on Thursday. Okay. Bye-bye, everyone. Take care of yourselves. Bye.